Yeah. So, um, there's, there's, a quite a bit of, uh, literature looking at, uh, cognitive reserve, um, which is what I explained earlier about how more education might, um, buffer, uh, neurological insult because it might, um, increase, uh, neuroplasticity. Um, but, uh, we actually just, uh, are publishing some work right now showing that uh, years of education uh, doesn't mean the same thing across um, uh, white and black individuals. And so years of education doesn't uh, necessarily contribute to this uh, neuroplasticity in the same way for blacks as it does for whites. Um, and so I think that something like quality of education might, uh, might, might be a better indicator, especially in racial and ethnic minorities. Um, because, uh, you know, um, it, it, it's a better indicator of the type of, of education that, that someone receives that could possibly then build these, these, uh, you know, neural pathways that can protect one later in life from a neurological insult. Um, and uh, if, if, you, if you look for, because of poor quality education, um, uh, a lot of older blacks ended up, you know, graduating uh, high school with, uh, with lower literacy levels than what would be expected given, a, you know, 12 years of, of education. And so that's what I mean when uh, using years of education, educational attainment doesn't necessarily mean the same thing across racial and ethnic groups. And so, again, I think that uh, school quality could be a better indicator of that.